hello guys in today's video i'll explain how to use a trim path in an advanced way to do that i'll be using a logo animation i recreated from scratch so let's get started so for a start you can see that each of these uh, layers here are on a separate composition so i have the z on its own composition the o on its own composition and everything here on its own composition so for this y composition i'm just going to double click on it to open it and then to animate this you can see that each part of this y here is on its own separate layer each stroke is on its own separate layer so for this um, stroke right here i'm let me say i'm going to uh, increase the length of each stroke so for the first one here, I'm just going to select my uh, pen tool, click on this node right here, hold shift and click somewhere around here to extend the length and same thing with this button, um, no trash here. Move to this other layer here and then I increase the length. And for this, I'm going to really e extend the length out of the composition a little bit. Then come right here at the bottom and increase it. So after doing that, I'm going to do it to add the rest of these uh, other layers right here. I'm going to add in the trim path. To make my focus to be on this layer here, I'm going to uh, hide all of these other extra layers. So I click right here, only this uh, stroke here is visible. So I'm just going to come right down here and I add a trim path. So the trim path here, I'm going to add in a uh, start and end trim path. Move 10 frames ahead, set another keyframe, move another 10 frames ahead, set another keyframe. And I'm going to do this about 5 times or so. So I'm working with 30 frames per second, that's why I move 30 that's why I move 10 frames ahead. And to do that, you can just press Ctrl Shift and the right arrow key to move 10 frames ahead, just like that. So for this very start here, I'm going to bring everything down to zero. So for this start, it should be at zero, and this one should be at zero. So when I move the second frame, the second set of keyframes, sorry, I'm going to um, increase here. Let's see, this should be at zero, and then this should be at a uh, hundred. Good. Move right here. And let me see. I can bring this just a little bit up, and then right here, it comes down, and this also comes down somewhere around here, and then right here, it's gonna go up right up not really right up somewhere around here and uh, let me see this can also be let's say here and then this should also be around here and for the final keyframes this should be at a very uh, responsive position so i'm going to select this g so i see this node these are the default nodes these two here for this one here i'm going to bring this down somewhere around here and then same thing with this other node here i'm going to bring this Increase this so it'll be around here. So I'm going to select all of these keyframes and I hit F9 to easy easy keyframes and I press N right here. So let me play this and see how it looks. Okay, good. So I see this um, this uh, keyframe does not work very well because after here it needs to go up and then comes down. So right here I'm going to bring this up again then it comes down just like this so let me play it and see good so this is uh, better so i'm going to press select this layer and press u to make the keyframe just to be visible like this and then i unhide this other layer here and i work with it so i'll do the same thing here to add the keyframes so i add the trim path and i also start with the start and in trim path then same thing i move uh, 10 frames ahead until i feel every key frames that i want so for the layer here i'm going to first of all start by reducing this start keyframe to zero and then when i move to this other layer to these other keyframes here i bring it back to 100 and then these i also bring it to somewhere around here yeah that would be fine 58 and then right down here i'm going to increase it back let's say somewhere around here and then here so you get the idea the idea is just to play with it to see how you can work with the start and end of keyframes so as you just change the position to see how it uh, bounces or something like that this should be at uh, somewhere around here and then it should be right here something like that let's say yeah good here and for the final keyframe this is where uh it has to be at the default node so for this very first one 
it should be around here and then for this uh, NK keyframes it should be uh, somewhere around here let's see zoom in good uh, let me just increase this a little bit mm, somewhere around yeah great so after doing that the next thing is to easy easy keyframes and then I move to the next layer and I do the same thing here but for this next layer here, since I, I just want it to extend just up and come back down, I want to be using the start. Either I use the start with end keyframes. So for this, let me see if I increase the start, or if I reduce it, you now see how it changes. It starts from bottom to top instead of top to bottom. So I'm just going to allow this at zero. And then for the end, if I reduce this down, that's what I want. So for the start, I'm going to send the keyframe here. As always, and I set it at five places. So, for this start right here, I'm going to set it at zero. Come right here, and then I bring it back to a hundred, and then I bring it back again to somewhere about here, it's five a bit, and then again I bring it to let me say eighty, you know, yes, something like that, and then now it goes back to. It's different position which is somewhere around here okay. so this i'll not bring it back to 80 but i'll bring it less than 80 let's say 60 or something like that, or 49 even so if i select all these keyframes and i hit f9 to easy easy keyframes and i play this back you can see how it goes but uh let me see right here this does not work very well so when it's here it's about 100 and it comes right down here let me bring this down again then it should be right up it should go uh, yes somewhere around there and then at a hundred uh, sorry at this default position which is at 61 percent so if i play this back good so the next thing i'm going to do is to animate this last layer here so i'm going to make it to be visible then i come right down to its own trim path and i set it let's see if i increase the start good so i'm working with the start here so I'm going to set the keyframes again as usual. So for the start, I'm going to put it at 100. Then I'll come right here and bring it down to zero. So it extends all the way up. And then here I'm going to bring it down. I'm just bring it down by increasing the start percentage to somewhere around here. Then it goes back up to about sorry, to about um let me put it at about yeah, the position right here will be good. And then it's back to its default position, which is somewhere around here. Great. I'm going to select everything here and I press F9 to easy the keyframes. So if I play it back, just as I want. So the next thing was that I had to offset this because I don't want all of these uh, elements to start animating at once. Like I said, there's a little error here on this layer. So after here, it goes somewhere. Okay, so I'm bring this. We bring this down here. So everything now works very well. So the thing is that I don't want everything to animate here at once. And the first layer in which I want it to appear is this layer right here. And the second should be this uh, stroke right here. So I'm going to put it here. Just adjust this somewhere around here. Then the next should be this, which will be around here. Then the last should be somewhere around here. So it fits in like this. Okay, good. So what I'm going to do again is that I want to add the color behind. Let's add the color behind here. Let me just hide all of the keyframes by selecting every layer by pressing Ctrl A and then U to hide all of the layers. And then I'm going to select all of the layers again. Press Ctrl Z to duplicate them. Then I press Ctrl Shift and my right angle bracket key to move all of them at the top. I click right here. Go to Pre Compose. So putting it on its own um, composition is there to add the color right here. So I open it here. Select all of them. Let me just move right here and then i put give you the color let me say something red okay so when i come back to this uh the, the white composition i'm just going to move it because i want it to be below i'm just going to move it right down here then i offset all of these um layers right here so you see you now see the amount in which it starts so if i just come right here and then i hit play see how it uh the color is being added so that's what i did to animate all of the layers uh, separately or all of the layers uh, the little sorry uh, separately and i created out the main uh, composition in which i want all of the layers to appear there 
like position them accordingly so you can see the first um, composition was this T that appears on the screen and then the next layer was uh, let me see which is this but the two uh, O's and then the next was the E and then finally the Y so if I play it all together and now when I play it together that's what you will see so this trim path method gives it a bouncing effect or something like that you can play around with it and change the values of the start and the end uh, keyframes or even the offset values you can also offset it to have some special uh, cool effects that's it for today's video guys hope you learned something new today please subscribe to the channel and like the video thanks for watching and see you in the next video peace out